NASA is taking a small but essential step toward making Mars habitable for humans. For humans, that is, the U.S. Space Agency announced that an MIT experiment successfully made oxygen from Mars's carbon dioxide rich atmosphere in a series of tests. Joining me now is Ben Titulo, associate professor of geoscience at the University of Calgary. So much happening on the space front this weekend with what was the potential for the Artemis launch. And part of that program, Ben, as you know, is eventually to, to get people to Mars. Now, when we take a look at this latest study, I mean, do you believe there was ever life on Mars? Uh, it's it's tough to tell. Mm -hmm. I believe that the environment was habitable and it could have, you know, potentially originated life. But it is it is hard to, to tell based on the evidence that we have today whether there ever was life there. Uh, so uh, give us some more guidance as to what this study and experiment and, and, and future experiments are going to look at, because there seems to be this great fascination with Mars. And uh, perhaps that's part of, you know, things that many of us have seen in popular culture or, or entertainment. But certainly even Artemis having a, a role in terms of getting to Mars, uh, this is something that the science community is also interested in. Yeah, exactly. So there's, you know, there's uh, an immense geological history on the surface of Mars. And so part of any exploration of the planet is understanding was there liquid water there? And if there was liquid water there, could it have originated life? Could it have been in a habitable environment? And so as things like Artemis and a new future space programs think about sending humans to Mars, we need to understand, are we going to be able to access water that might be in the subsurface there? Was there an environment there that might have provided energy for organisms and so on? And, th and those are the sorts of things that we explore um, as part of these missions. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you say organisms, that brings me to my, to my next question. I mean, when we talk about the potential for um, if the planet was ever capable of supporting life, are, are we looking at plant life? Are we looking at some kind of species? I mean, obviously, many people are interested in knowing if there's some kind of human-like life that ever existed on Mars. But... Uh, plants and other organisms mean life as well. Yeah, I think one of the things that we will always have to think about, and one of the rules rules of thumb in uh, in origin of life studies, is that they must start simple, right? It must start with very basic geochemical reactions. So we're thinking, if you start life uh, on another planet or even on early Earth, then you must start with simple single-celled or unicellular organisms, and then build up to become eventually, billions of years later, plants and animals and so on. And, and I want to be clear. So, um, Ben, your research is and the work you've been doing is directly involved, of course, in this project. Um, what questions, other questions, as, as opposed to, you know, was Mars able to be a place that even, you know, organisms inhabited? What other questions are you looking to answer? Yeah, so there's there's a lot to be answered, not necessarily about Mars, but also about early Earth, right? So our planet has been subjected to plate tectonics, so the, the surface has been rebuilt many times over geological time. But Mars has not had that happen, right? So ancient Mars is still there. The rocks that we're looking at in Gale Crater with the Curiosity rover have been there for the last three and a half billion years. So what we're able to do is look at a time in our solar system when our Earth was also evolving the original or the earliest forms of life, but uh, that that record has been almost completely erased on our planet. And so by looking at that record on Mars, we can start to understand more about our own planet in the same way. Uh, well, I understand this, this study will take a few years. So we look forward to the results. Good luck. Ben Titulo, oh. uh, an associate professor of geoscience at the University of Calgary. Ben, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you very much. All the best. Good luck.